What's up, guys? I'm getting back in it. Doing some late night Metal Gear. Oh, I'm feeling pretty good. Had a decent chunk of meat. A couple of foods. I feel pretty good. So, I think it's time we knocked out the story stuff. Seeing as I believe that's all I really got left at this present moment. We have See a new assignment. Up. Eliminate the commander of Rogue Coyote, one of the PFs operating in Africa. The target is simply the Major to his men. That's his rank from his army days. Instead of your typical boots on the ground work, he's more of a job broker and a recruiter. Hmm. And apparently he also runs a little espionage operation on the side. Which could explain why he's picked up a long list of enemies. I don't like getting involved in a PF pissing match any more than you do. There's another reason we took this job. Recently this guy's been talking about dealing in nuclear arms. Think back to the shipment that Cypher was having ZRS transport. If we put the squeeze on this Major, we might come out of it with some new intel on Cypher. Hmm. Let's check this out. Pretty cool. Let's see, I gotta change my stuff up again. Get my sleeper pistol. Get my... nope, you're good. Everything else should be pretty much set. I'd like to change my buddy over to my... real helpful robot. Oh, that's all I gotta do. Yep, we're good. Deploy! Let's see how this goes. My goodness, what's going on with my phone today? What is happening? Lightality. Thanks for that, uh, what was it, favorite? Thanks for that favorited tweet, sir. Thank you very much. This stuff is fun to play. <laughs> this shit is fun to play. Looking forward to these story missions. I really should just sit down and block them all out. Keep fucking off with side missions. I gotta stop doing that. I'm getting to a point where I have like a million stories and everything. The mission objective I'm like is so to far behind. The commander they call the major. One of the major subordinates working undercover with the CFA is due to make contact with him. Check his current location on your iDroid. Follow him. He should lead you right to the major. Okay. which I end up using a lot more than I thought of. Sniper rifle, of course, gets a ton of use, too. Be careful down there, boss. Hey, you got one of those looks like a new creature to me I don't think it's a vulture no that definitely ain't a vulture your first job is to find a man you need to follow huh. check your eye droid for his location and the eye certain whoever it is is going to be in that truck. Shoot, they got containers! I can't get them without them getting all like, what, huh, ooh, what? Why is that flying out the window? Stay on him. Yeah, he's not very good skill-wise, but he does have a special skill. 
Let's go ahead and try and do this like an actual mission. <laughs> Trying really hard to do this legit, guys. Switched vehicles, huh? You don't think he spotted you? a second here. I forgot to do something. Uh, there we go. I can see a little bit better. Oh, 
Damn, that guy's highly skilled. Ik is gereed om terugvoering te geven, Major. We gaan niet die breed trekken. Die CFA kon nog niet vaststellen hoe die hier soldaten in Walla Wamasa gestorven. Al wat hulle kon. Dit is niet zo les. Maar daar is gerucht dat je die job van je hand geweest hebt omdat je geweerd hebt van die ziekte. En nu is iemand bezig om een vergeldingsquot aan te stellen. Van alle dingen. Het ik maak soms mijn handen veel. Maar ik zeg. I wanted to try it. It, I think Boss, I could get that to work. Happened? I think I could do it. Mm. I gotta throw the grenade much sooner than that. Whew. Sometimes. Oh wait a minute. What's this? What's this going on? So the reason why you had to make your own character is rather dumb and spoilery. Sometimes Kojima has to be on this some good drugs. Wow. So it's not. It's not an online thing. Not even a predicted field of movement. All we have to go on is this meeting with his subordinate. Oh shit, do I have remember to find this guy all over? Oh no, I remember. I remember. Oh, my. You got to do everything you can to stay out of sight. <laughs> so I was like, wait, I gotta go all the way back to the meeting? Like, I don't know where that. <laughs> That's weird. So there's like an actual story reason for making the character? It wasn't just online shenanigans? That's insane. <laughs> it has plot things. That's funny as shit. I can't wait. I can't wait. It's probably going to be something really awful, isn't it? It's going to be the shittiest thing on the planet, isn't it? Like, there's no way he could have made... He could have done that with, like, you know... Something good happening. There's just no way. figure out how to smoke grenade these two guys. That's like my mission right now. It's to figure out how to smoke grenade both of them and then abduct them both. That's my objective. That's what I want to do really badly. Fuck, I'm not even fast. 
Get them all clumped up. That's the objective here. All clumped up. I think I got it. That was some good shit. <laughs> that was good shit. Roger. The enemy. <laughs> no sign of the enemy. <laughs> That's fucking good shit. Good shit, Kaz. Good shit. That was fun. Great work. Hell yeah, it's great work. You see that shit? Fucking ran in there, smoke grenade all their asses. <laughs> it's like my ace of the hole, smoke grenade everything. That's good stuff. I don't care, I got a B ranking. <laughs> it's probably the lowest ranking I've gotten so far, I think. <laughs> it's fucking... It's too fun. I love smoking and everything. Like, it's good shit. I stole the two main guys. Like, yeah. That's good. They're probably gonna work for me now. But yeah. As you were saying. Customization character thing. The major that's messed that's up. All right. His nuclear arms business was just a rumor he was paid to spread around. He doesn't even know who's paying him. All his instructions came through a cutout. But how? Who else would be behind it but Cypher? And this nuclear arms trading is clearly connected to that yellow cake. He thought the same thing, which is why he tried to investigate ZRS himself. He said something else that caught my attention. That ZRS had tried to kill some old man. How did one old man get that kind of attention? Uh, okay. I got some soldiers. Mad centipede. He's fucking angry. <laughs> Smoking everything, 420. Absolutely. Bastard harrier. <laughs> Whatever. Take him. Fucking, uh. Smoke everything. You fucking, like. About those Waku gears spreading all over Africa. Huey's got an idea for a counter weapon. Really? Come on back to base. Sweet. 
Uh, I was gonna have to say, like, Mortal Kombat 10 released uh, kind of a sneak troll thing about the Combat Pack 2, about the next uh, set of characters for the game. And everybody's thinking one of the characters looks like a ninja. And everybody is hoping to God it's smoke. So, yeah. Good this. shit. It's a variable, multi-legged tank. A spin-off of Metal Gear technology. Big fan of spin-offs, isn't he? I hear he borrowed from the Soviets in Costa Rica, too. The design allows for a lot of freedom in setups. It's based around a central core unit, so you can quickly reconfigure the hardware hard? to suit any sort of mission parameters. What the good doctor is trying to say is that it's customizable. Naturally, it will raise the probability of success for standard missions. But it functions as an improved deterrent by increasing your preemptive strike capability against enemy elements. You just deploy it in a war zone, and its superior firepower puts the brakes on enemy attacks. Eventually, the whole war machine grinds to a halt. A true battle gear! What? How does that make any sense? Because I'm having deja vu here. I don't like him any more than you. But we need this. You think it'll cut it in the field? Turning radius is better than any tanks. That's great for regional skirmishes. Tech like this is popping up all among the PFs. Best way to deal with them is to fight fire with fire. <laughs> he just sits there with his back. <laughs> Wait your instructions then, boss. Jesus. Yet another thing I have to throw funds at? Like, holy shit. I'm poor already. Your approval to commence development. Fine. Consider yourself off the chopping block. The fuck? <laughs> Battle gear development has begun. Go fucking figure. Hangar at the base of the R&D platform. Well, we gotta go at least look at it, right? Like, I found the zoo not long ago, so now got I have... Got for you, boss. The client is one of the kids you rescued from that mine. According to the kids, people often disappear from the mine to a place called Nzoya Badiabulo. The Devil's House. Zoya Batila. Saner's involved with the place. Check your iDroid for the mission details. Cool. So I said I was going to do some more story missions and let the side ops go away for a while. So that's what I'm going to try and do. I'm going to try and pull it back on my Spurg and try not to fucking do a bunch of side ops. I'm going to try and do more story to get that moving. And honestly, I'd like to do it, because sometimes I watch a streamer or two that are ahead of me, and I get sad. Where was I going? R&D. R&D platform, Shago Begobot. Yes. Need to go there. I think I have some tapes I gotta listen to. Or maybe not have to, but might as well listen to it. Oh. I have no idea. Fan Gwerven! Ha I have okay. Tapes listen to. They're done. <laughs> the fuck? Oh, I don't want to run this whole time. Oh, the bug, the bug, the bug, the bug. summon a helicopter. I'm gonna summon my own personal helicopter. Roger. <laughs> because I am the one percent. This is I have my own. Man, that shit was great. This is Pequod. On station at LZ. Go 
you know, I mean, I just had this hope that when the customizing happened, I was going to get another Metal Gear Online, because I really liked Metal Gear Online for uh, the fourth game, Metal Gear 4 or whatever. I loved the online. I did really good in that game. Like, I, I guess I didn't do really, really good, but I had a lot of fun doing it, because it was just this game, but you played online, like, kind of team death matches and stuff. And then some random person could be Snake and get to be Snake. Like, they kind of did that for Batman in one of the games. And it was basically that, but with Metal Gear. It was really fun. I had a great time with that game. I heard they, like, closed up their servers a while ago. Like, quite a while ago. It probably wasn't as much of a hit as I would want it to be. But it was still fun to play. Spend money on again. I wonder. Yes, give me the money. One C rank loser. I gotta kick out again. Uh, resources. Yeah. The base facilities. No, well, it's not in here. Development. No. Wow. Maybe I don't actually have to develop it. been faster if I had done it normally. Oh, I saw a shiny. And I'm totally going the wrong way. Cloud's approaching. I think it's already here. God damn it. Can't see shit, Captain. I fucked up. <laughs> I, I totally fucked up. Not where I want to be. Somewhere over here is where I want to be. There we go. <laughs> so retarded. Boss. Nice work saving the boss. Shago hard, shago hard. Where would it be? Have a good day, boss. Well, that doesn't open for me. <laughs> Down in here or something? No. Yeah, but I do see shiny. Hey, who keeps putting rough diamonds all over the place? Who's throwing away money? Fire that man. He's not part of this man's army anymore. Alright, so it looks like there is an actual specific spot at the open. No, that's a training Battle Gear hangar though. Oh, maybe it's down here. Surprise! Let us know if you need combat support. I heard a lot. Oh my god, I killed myself on my own base! I didn't Snake, think it was possible. Talk to me. Snake, I Snake. didn't think it was possible. 
I am embarrassed. I am embarrassed. You can travel across Mother Base by doing the box thing and have yourself be delivered. Got a new mission for you, boss. The client uh, is one of the kids you rescued from that mine. The uh, kids, people often disappear from the mine to a place called. In fact, if we need to talk about your drug house. use. On top of that, I think it's gotten a little out of place. control. Check your eye for the mission. Like, details. are you certain you should be smoking as much as you do? And is it good stuff, or is it that really cheap-ass stuff that's just, like, mixed with cocaine or something? You really gotta watch that, man. I mean, it's just... You gotta be careful about it. So you're saying I could plop, like, on this thing or something? So about that drug use, keep at it, man. It's definitely doing you good. You know, not every day I tell a man to do more drugs. But I believe today's a day where you definitely should do more drugs. Because, I mean, look, it, it just paid off for me. How many other people could say the same thing? However, now I seem to still be lost. Whoop, 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 whoop. Where? Oh! Oh, button! Sweet! Let us develop a Shago Hod. Sneaku. I miss when Otacon and Solid Snake were friends. I don't like Big Boss. I've decided that I don't like Big Boss at all. Like, I miss the friendship between Otacon and everything. They were bros, man. They were real bros. They peed in a locker together. Or something like that. I don't quite know what happened, but... All I know is... is I don't really like Big Boss. I'm a little confused. Am I in the wrong spot or something? Oh, ladder. Sweet. I can do I don't think so. I thought I could like look at the shaggle hot or whatever it is. Look at this fucking I this goddamn head start, this Apple head start computer. Look at this bullshit. This fucking shit. Like it might as well have green text and green everything. It might as well just be pure green with the black background. I mean, that's all that is. It might as well just be Fallout. That's some Apple Head Start computer bullshit right there. Huge ass CRT monitor. My god. Tubes? Jeez. Also, apparently that was really wasteful. Like, is there nothing I could do in there? Like, I didn't think there was anything I could do in there. That sucks. Still need time to build the super tank. God. Damn it. Otacon's dad, you suck. Otacon would have been done by now.
please select mission. Holy shit. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Sending them out all the shitty ones because they can't handle real missions. Oh, God damn it. I wanted to look at something, but there was no reason. It made it. The map made it look like there was purpose, but there was no purpose whatsoever. Roger. Welcome home, boss. Oh god, is it way up the Ow oh, What? What? Why it's way up top. Oh. This is Pequod. Pequod, just come down here. Right. Even. This is Pequod. Have arrived at LZ. We'll stand by. Long will stand by. Nice work, yeah, 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 yeah. Kids. Does everyone have to get up this way? <laughs> like, totally unintuitive. It's just not a friendly place to work if you have to climb a series of tubes. It's like working for Metroid or something. Just have a pair of snares like go there, man. Come on. It's real talk. Still lacking sufficient everything. Need more fuel. Need more fuel. Ugh. War story. from that mine. He wants us to save the boy who was their leader. His name is Shabani, and he was the oldest Shibani. among them. Several days before he went to the mine, he was taken away to Nzoya Badiabulu. Our search turned up a place the locals call by that name. Ngumba Industrial Zone. Nearby residents are terrified of it. They say the devil lives there. And that anyone who sets foot in it never returns. This industrial zone has long been abandoned, but it seems it was sold off a few years back to a certain corporation, Saner. And now the perimeter is tightly guarded by a PF. The reason is unclear. The same goes for why Shabani was taken away. But something is obviously going on there. Those kids from the mine really looked up to Shabani. The client has given us the last of their diamonds in return. Go get Shabani out of there, boss. Whatever Cypher's up to in the region, Shibani might just be our best lead. Shibani. Cool. Let's see. I need that. You're good. Although I probably won't be able to make use of you for this. I guess the buddy is still good to have on hand. And everything should be the same. Yeah. Cool. Off we go. Shibani. Shabani and his brother Shaboner. Could be like a morning talk show type of thing, you know? Maybe like a radio host. Shabani and Shaboner in the morning. <laughs> now, do you get your Shaboner morning? <laughs> your morning Shaboner? There we go. 
<laughs> the target is Shivani. He was the leader of the boys being forced to work at the mine. He was separated from the others and taken away to Ngumba Industrial Zone. The locals call this place in Zoya Madiaburu, the devil's house. Zoya Madiaburu. Find Shivani and extract him safely. You can check the target's location on your iDroid. Do, 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 do. Alright, I gotta make it all the way over there, huh? And uh, it looks like it's... Oh, huh. Looks like there might be a path right there, maybe? Actually, probably not. I think right there I gotta go through the main area. Whoop! Let's go. This should be interesting. I have to be Mr. Stealthy about it. Am I running the right way? Yeah. An outpost of the sunken road. Manoko Yan Yoka. The snake's mouth. I get it. Looks like that's the only way to the objective area. Stealth mode. Okay, doing stealth mode. Oh my god. Analyzing complete. I'm gonna knock the fuck out of those guys. There's some resources behind them. It's meant to invoke the episodic feeling of a TV series. Yeah, I noticed they were going for something like that, but I mean, it, it just feels kind of lame as fuck. I don't know. I really don't know. It's just kind of weird. It's a weird idea. Kojima is filled with weird ideas, but he's Japanese. We kind of have to let it go. Oh man, he looked this way. Right in the cheek. Man, that guy's almost all bees? That's amazing. I really like that they have those things just kind of sprayed around. Pretty janky. That's a good that's a good term for it, janky. It doesn't seem appropriate really. I guess in the end it doesn't really like suck horribly or anything. Just Kinda sucks. chill out. I want to like explode all the stuff here, but I'm going to try and do that during a side op rather than uh, during a main mission. I don't want to get everyone on alert like right away if I can help it. Who's like? 
<laughs> so not, not the best shots. Not the best shots I've ever taken. Oh, there's the radar jammer and everything. Man, I just want to explode it all. But I gotta save it for a side op. What's up, DNA? Good morning, sir. You enjoying yourself this morning? Uh, even though for me it's one o'clock at night. Look at these guys in bed. Put them in. At least blowing this place up will be pretty easy. You know, I should destroy this. I'm just gonna let it chill, I think. Well, no. No, I can't do it. I can't do it. It needs to die. Quite mean to kill him. Uh, forgot I had that equipped. went crazy for it, so here we go. <laughs> Might as well keep the crazy train rolling. You destroyed their anti-air radar? It wasn't one of the targets, and that's put a hole in their air surveillance. The chopper will be a way to go. Now. You can designate a landing zone near the outpost. Oh, there we are. What are you talking about? It's 10.30. You're full of crap, sir. Don't bullshit a bullshitter. You know better. I bet if I hadn't screwed this up, I could, uh, could have gotten this to take me around. But I done goofed. Do some fob? 
forward operating bases. What? I had I was online for like two minutes and then it kicked me offline immediately. Yeah, got all that shit. All that shit is now saved. Got past the checkpoint, blew up some stuff. Couldn't be happier, right? Can I get my guy in here? Yes, I can. Probably not the best place to be doing this, but uh, we'll do it. We went Rambo with this guy before. I might as well pick it up. <laughs> that was kind of fun. And it's Lord Chaos. My goodness. Man, this, the whole gang is showing up tonight. How you guys doing, dudes? You actually got to invade someone? Holy shit. Someone's still firing. Wow. <laughs> that bastard's still firing. Yeah, might as well blow everything up. <laughs> might as well. I got to use my walker a little bit. That felt good. Never got to really... Never really assaulted with it before. I got some canisters out of it. That's even better. You can't be hating too hard. Getting shipped. That's important. I get to have fun with my buddy. It's even more important. I really like that this thing is just like... It's not a bond or anything. You just you just level it up. I like that a lot. Because the other guys, you have to use them to level them up to get more stuff out of them, which kind of sucks. Because all the cool stuff happens, like, much later. But this guy is, like, good right off the bat. And he only just gets better. This is a little awkward. I don't quite see an obvious approach. There. Security sure is tight. I guess they don't want anyone poking around. Stealth mode. Entering the stealth the mode. See, these guys don't seem to be too pissed off yet. I don't think they got the memo because I exploded the communications thing back there. So these dudes are like totally unaware that shit just exploded down the road. They're not very good at their jobs yet either. <laughs> just gotta chill in while I scramble around. You're just waiting for them to release the fitting skin for the dog. Uh, 
If anybody asks, I'll deny it. I will deny it. But you may be right. But I deny it. Moon up. I'll simply talk. What are you gonna do? Get down. Where are the others? Buddy! I damn it, this guy's good. Take a nap. How are you? You have an A in something. That means you're part of my crew now. You are my Nakama. What about you? You have an A in something. You are part of my crew. You are now my Nakama. Let's go. Subject on board. Leave the rest to us. I'm gonna have to, like, drop some fucking supplies on my ass, because I got no... I got no thing, you know? I got no thing that I can use right now. All my stealth parts are broken. I shot, like, shit all over the place. Mist. Supposedly the valley up ahead is covered in mist almost year-round. The objective area is beyond there. I'm scared. <laughs> Guys, I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared. Uh... 25,000 smackadoolies?! Wow! I'm an expensive fucker! I'm so expensive! 26,000 bajoolies! Like, why so much money? Damn! Uh. I'm upset. <laughs> I'm sorry, Chowder. I'm visibly upset. I can't be consoled. I can't believe it. Why am I so expensive, guys? Am I that good? This big boss worth that much money? I swear. I swear. And really all I needed was the fucking... Fuck a D-Walker ammo. Okay, 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 okay. Still, though. A lot of money. I think I'm about to buy it. As in... Die. Because <laughs> mist means skull people. And skull people mean... Get fucked. Down through the valley. Down by the river. Wow, 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 wow. Do I just want to go along the river? I guess. Oh, good. They're not skull people. They are not skeletors. In fact, they're all decoys. <laughs> Except one person. One person hanging out with decoys. That guy must be sad as fuck. <laughs> He's like, I don't even get real people out here. I get two fucking balloon-shaped things. That's all I get to talk to. Is that a Your cliffs on either side. You'll just have to push through. Take a nap, amigo. I hate it when they start doing that. I completed a task. I did something by accident. I like it when I do that. I like it when stuff happens because of accidents. That's gonna kind of give me away. Hey, just get down on the ground. There we go. Get in that muck.
<laughs> Just chilling out with these fucking things. That's great. Pretty awesome. <laughs> Never before have I seen a, such an attractive shirtless man as the man who I'm about to attack and put him inside my face. Woo! Rough diamond spot. Oh my god! Back off! 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 You piece of shit. Get fucking wrecked at my base, bitch. How come that guy's not falling asleep yet? Fall asleep. There's something cool over here, like a waterfall. You planning on jumping off the waterfall, boss? Go around. I want to, though. Like, I actually want to. Never make a sound if you can avoid it. With the low visibility in the jungle, sound is a major giveaway. Don't make things easy for the enemy. Dude, I love this setting. Jungle settings are the fucking coolest. For Metal Gear games. They are just the best. Man, can I get this guy? I think I can get I can, I, I can do it. I can do it. I'm fucking great at this game, I can do it. Like a snake in the grass. Shot that guy. Yeah, he wouldn't just leave. There's a cliff blocking the way to the objective area. You'll have to take the path. Oh my god, you see all that? You better get out of here. You better make it alive. Captured. Oh, wow. I'm pretty good at this. I didn't even think this was an outpost. You're also a lot of A+. Plus, so you get out of here. You better make it. I need more Nakamas that are A+. Plus. So I can cheat off their math tests. Subject on board. Leave the rest to us. <laughs> Enough fooling around. Serious time. Precious metal. <laughs> By the way, I don't want to lose you a chance.
this is the coolest setting so far with like the waterfall and shit this place looks great like this is almost uncharted levels of good like the game uncharted with its photorealism backgrounds like that shit's really nice this is really approaching it like super close and yet it's obviously not photo there's a lot of erosion in that tunnel could come down any minute watch your step a step Ninguba, Sanguba. Reach the objective area. Now look for the target. Now I just hope it. he's alive. I'm not sure I'm seeing a lot of people just yet. Where are all them peeps? Where are all them peeps at? Someone's shooting bullets and it's disturbing me. Definitely body bags. And this is all blood, like for sure. I'm like really certain that this is indeed blood. I wasn't too sure for a little bit there, but now, like, pretty damn sure. Is that right dot right down there? Oh, that's what that is. <laughs> Beer bottles and fire resources. Hell yeah. Hmm. This place is awfully quiet. Awfully quiet indeed. Jeep! I'm gonna keep it. I have no choice but to steal. It is in my nature. No rules of nature. Get all up. Love free jeeps. <laughs> Just free jeeps. You know what else I love? Not having my buddy here. That's actually freaking me out a little bit. I need to put my buddy somewhere that I could access him. What about like right here? Thank you. Stealth mode. Stealth mode. You know what? Let's get you somewhere a little less visible. Somewhere... Somewhere I don't think anybody's gonna be. Right here seems kind of fair. I'll put you like that in case I gotta shoot that way. Stealth mode. Well, this is one hell of a place. Anything cool back here, boss? No? Alright. Oh boy. Uh, this has gotten really creepy. Like, this is actually super creepy. I should probably not walk on shit. No sign of any guards. It's never good when things are too quiet. Be careful. That just moved.
God damn. What the fuck's going on? Oh god. I'm gonna have to fight that fire guy, aren't I? It's gonna happen, isn't it? I don't wanna fight that. Oh god. This is gonna suck. Are they turning him into a skull guy? Can he not breathe without it? I couldn't hear the tape at all, really. Oh, wow. It's like those guys in the fucking thing. Learn from his Silent Hill days, fucking Christ. That he has, man. You ever played that PT game? Shit was gross. Some real story bits happening here. This might be like explaining how the psycho person and the fire person came to be. This might be how they do it or something.
Ah, uh, the ghost faced killer. Well, that's not a boy. Signet or Banatot. The boy break here, Bun. Oh, shit. Did he just reload? work out. That didn't work the way I thought it would. <laughs> that really didn't. I need another I need another water thing. I see a water thing. Here we go. Holy fuck. Holy fuck. Holy fuck. In my way. I wanna deal with this shit. <laughs> Where is he? Get fucked. Get fucked. Yeah, you hate that shit, don't you? Check. So the kid disappears, and the man on fire stops. I guess that worked. Sweet! I don't know. I just started shooting because I had no other options. I didn't know what else to do. Holy shit. That's fucking awesome. He broke the cords, I'd call that. Yeah, as long as he's out of my fucking way. Yeah, thanks to the credits, you know, when they make appearance. Yeah, you got a point there. I actually didn't even look. That's it. You made it out of the hot zone. No sign of the enemy. Mission complete, boss. Damn. Do you see that shit? Mission complete. Like, I knew... Mission complete. I, 
I knew I needed water, and I saw the fucking water thing, so I was like, these have to break. Like, this has to be something to do with the water and the guy. I didn't know what to do about that chick. I thought she was going to teleport all the time I shot at her, but I didn't know what else to do. So I figured I'd just keep shooting, and it just worked. God damn. Oh my god, look at all that support cost. <laughs> I make no money off these story missions. Jesus Christ. That was fucked up. Like, what the fuck? And we still have no answer to what the hell we were even seeing. Surprise twist. This is actually a prequel to Resident Evil. <laughs> Skullface. So he was in Africa after all. Working behind the scenes. Even that man on fire at his beck and call. But what the hell was going on at the devil's house? Earphones embedded in people's throats, tapes playing voices, and those lumps on their chests. They looked like the ones on the bodies at the oil field. The man on fire burned everything to the ground. But we were recording audio the whole time you were there. We'll conduct a thorough analysis of it. Sucks being in the old days where you only had audio, you didn't have visual recordings. Factory of the Dead. Oh, that sounds promising. Yeah, bitter wallaby. It better be bitter wallaby. What's up with my dog? Do I gotta choose it? Oh no, he's good. He knows French? Well, that doesn't help me any. <laughs> Are we going to France? <laughs> I don't think so. Booster. Booster Gold. That was some crazy shit. I was a little worried for a while there, so I didn't know what to do. Like, she was teleporting, and I was, I was about to go, what the fuck do I do about this chick? And then, finally, I hit her. I don't know why I hit her. I, it just ended up happening. Uh-oh. Are we under attack? soldiers pissed off. convinced they do that smoking thing just so they could reset the base back to having nobody on it. Plus, word has it that a Western arms dealer is going to be inspecting a CFA outpost. It appears he's involved with nuclear weapons development in the area. My hunch is that this guy is somehow connected to Cypher. I've got no proof, but we know Skullface is working through PFs in the region. Anyway, it just so happens a job connected to this inspection has come in. Take a look at your eye droid. Cool. The war economy. Alright, we'll check that out. We'll keep uh, keep the ball rolling. Can I do this yet? Nope. Can I do any of these without getting fucked? No, nope, I'm getting fucked. Nope. Oh my god, the lowest success probability ever. How do I increase the probabilities? The probabilities are so weak. I don't know how to make them stronger. I really don't. Like, I guess I just gotta find more people to put in there.
This was after I cleared everything out. Look at all these fuckers I have now. <laughs> Troublemakers? One troublemaker. He's, he's a piece of shit. What a joke. Alright. Uh, base facilities, maybe? Is there anything? Okay, I can do a combat platform, intel, and medical. What if I do combat? What happens? Yeah, okay. Let's do that. And that basically killed all my fuel. <laughs> Didn't take away all of my money, though. That's interesting. Is this another sleeper pistol? Single shot? Yep, the silent pistol. 9mm live round conversion. Type attack lethal. Wow. Hmm. Cool, but not really. Long barrel conversion. And what's that? Operating precision, grouping, auto aim, range up. Wow, that's awesome. You know, if I didn't need... If I didn't... I mean, I need like 200,000 now just to go on deployment without killing all my shit, so... I actually have to be awesome. real chill about Thank that shit. I can probably sell a bunch of biological, but at some point I'm gonna end up using them. These I can definitely sell. Hell of a lot of African peach, holy shit. Sweet. And we got a few of these guys we can get rid of. We got two of you. Sweet. Holy shit, we got some jeeps to sell. Wow, we got some real stuff. Operational frontline support carrier truck. Cool. I got five of these for 150,000? Damn, not bad, man. Not bad at all. Hey, you see that shit? I actually made some bank on all that. That's. I think that's when I hit up the... Uh, Actually, I hit up the Air Force. That still didn't work out too well for me, so maybe that's not when I did that. Let's develop some of this shit that I thought looked cool. You looked cool. Uh, I didn't want to do the live round conversion on this, because I like... This is my silencer, and I like that. That's my sleeper gun. Um, what's a, a water pistol? Whatever. It's just silly enough to develop. I don't know what else to get. Like, I like my assault rifle. I kind of wish I could make it better. This is the anti material multi purpose rifle system, huh? Long barrel conversion, effective shooting ray, sharpshooter, equipable by sap. Alright, so I guess this is what I. No, that's not what I use. I don't use that one. I use something else. Uh, I don't know what it is I use. Like the AM something or other. It's really good though. The Kabar Kabarga? <laughs> Jesus. What is that? Shotgun? Yeah, shotguns. Fackle grenade launchers. I don't think I ever got one. I could probably develop a grenade launcher. What's this? Magazine loading grenade launcher, huh? I don't know what that means. What about you? Heavier and harder to handle, huh? Hmm. Uses case ammunition, yeah. Long effective range. That sounds pretty promising. Hmm. 
Yeah. Shotguns. I already got quite a few sniper rifles unlocked. I don't really. I haven't really worked on that. On the the light machine gun stuff. Hey, uh, do you guys know? If we really need to blow things up with a grenade launcher, I've been doing pretty good without. Do you guys know how I get a security team uh, created? Is that something I do in the story mode? Because that would be pretty nifty to have. I don't. Uh, I I don't have it at the moment. Let's go ahead and up the flare grenades. Smoke grenades too. I use that shit like crazy, so I might as well have them on hand. And the supply there is cool. I actually picked up one of these. I just don't remember which one I picked up. Warhead specific large caliber recoil customized to fire special warheads. Damn, what's the difference? Stopping power. Oh wow, stopping power. Grade grenade conversion blast radius up. Probably do the blat the damage. But, you know, I'm doing so good without even using those things. <laughs> yeah, story thing, cool. All right, you know what? I think I will. I'm gonna hang on to these guys. I'm gonna hang on to the money because I know I end up using a ton anyways. Uh, but also because I am concerned. I'm con I'm basically I'm concerned of when I do get that story that security team up. I get a bunch of stuff from from that. So I really need to go do it. Really need that security team so that I can unlock a bunch of other stuff that I would really like to develop for. Let's go ahead and get that Shagohod thing. Let's do that. Did I shower already? Yeah, I did. <laughs> it's kind of funny that showering actually is really good. Right, here we go. Yep. This is the weirdest fucking thing I've ever seen. And yet it's the most useful thing I've ever seen. Is the helicopter takes fucking forever to get shit done. was down here, yes. I want to see if I get anything. I like. I would like to see what it is we're making. Or if I get a say in how we make it. Bam. Damn, that was a great stage. Snake. Can I talk to you at all? No. Damn man, I feel like I feel like I'm missing something here. Like something really cool could be going down. I just don't know how to activate it. Oh well. Today. Get to look at your cool stuff when your helicopter flies around. Yeah, I guess it's kinda scenic. But I mean it's once you've done it a few times, and if you don't have to like, if you're not taking, like, a serious detail approach on the staff thing, it's like, you know, you don't really need that time. After a bunch of times of doing it, I'm tired, <laughs> is basically what I'm saying. Do it a bunch, and I'm like, okay, I'm good. I'm happy. Roger. Is that over my head again? Fuck me. I will never learn. Ooh. Welcome back, boss. That's a cutie. What's your skill? Oh, you're a mechanic? Uh, that makes sense. That's why you're on R&D. Good shit. She can turn a wrench, if you know what I mean. This is B-Quad. Arriving shortly at LZ. How the fuck do I get up there? I 
hate this. This is Pequot. I'm stationed at LZ. Give me some stairs. For real, dude. Give me some damn stairs. <laughs> I'm defeated in my own base. I built this place, damn it. And I still can't get around it. What the f This guy's fucking Spider-Man. Alright, this isn't actually Big Boss, this is Spider-Man. This is Spider-Man pretending to be Big Boss. There's no, there's just no way around How's it. How's it going, Boss? That's the reveal, isn't it? That's the actual reveal. Is that this is Spider-Man? How fucking sick would it be if this actually was a Spider-Man game and you can fucking like do the web slinging and all that shit? Like, oh my god, I'd be so on that. I love Spider-Man games. No, I, he's got the Parker. It's just I, I fucking don't know my way around shit. Like I don't know where to go. It's ridiculous. Battle snake. Uh. <laughs> oh man, oh man. I think another run at the story should uh, be called for. I really should work towards getting the security team up. If I can get a security team up and running, I'd be happy with that. Dispatch mission successful. Staff is looking okay, I'm sure. So I didn't want to develop anything yet. Ah, yes, I gotta, I gotta read these tapes. It's funny that you could set music as like a rifle <laughs> for your, for your. Hit. Helicopter. That's pretty funny. Here we go. Boss, about those invalids you saw in that devil's house. Poor bastards. All strapped down to the beds with those lumps on their chest. The medical staff tell me they were probably a type of cyst. Cysts can get that big. In some cases, yes. But supposing they're a kind of atheroma forming on the surface of the skin, the size is just too big, and the appearance is all wrong. In the end, the medical team were at a loss. Those lumps were like nothing they'd ever seen. The fluid you said you got on your prosthesis when you touched one was burned off in the fighting, and the factory burned down too. None of the tests we did once you were back at the base revealed a pathogen that could have caused them. Meaning we don't have a single sample to work with. Everything went up in flames. What worries the medical team most is whether it's contagious. Whether there's a chance we could end up like that. And? Mother Base's sanitation control has always been strict. After all, war is great at transporting diseases. For the time being, at least. There's no sign of contagion or any symptoms that could be related. That is creepy. One more thing. About the surgery that had been performed on the people in the Devil's House. Yeah. You said that their throats were cut open. With an acoustic tube pushed inside? Right. The tubes were hooked up to tape recorders playing some kind of audio. Well, we picked up some of that audio through your radio transmissions and recorded it here. The intel team has been working on analyzing the communications lock. 
What have they found? There's nothing tying the contents together. We've got a report on three deaths in a car accident on the auto route near Marseille. Protests outside the Libyan embassy in London. A press conference with the former prime minister of Sweden. A four-month-old weather forecast for Balikpapan. And then commercials for appliances, cough syrup, and TV dinners. Assuming they're not all staged, they come off as recordings of your average public broadcasts. Public broadcasts? Just radio and TV signals? Yes. And from all over the world. We're looking into whether they're genuine or not, just to be sure. What else? A speech that sounds like it was recorded out on the street, and people chatting about how this year's tomato crop did. And there's nothing they have in common? We're part way through the cryptanalysis. That includes checking all audio ranges and running it backward and at different Christ. speeds. Then there's vocabulary breakdown for political suggestions, ideological common points. But I don't think it's going to get us anywhere. Where were the recordings made? There's nothing linking them from that angle either. Just like you reported, we've detected virtually every major language there is. French, German, Italian, Spanish, and including South machines. American accents. Then there's Russian, Nano machines Indian, the Arabic, size of supercomputers. Mandarin, <laughs> Cantonese, Japanese. They're nothing if not thorough. <laughs> well, I don't know if we've got them all covered. Ignoring the ones that have gone extinct, supposedly over 5,000 languages exist today. Besides, English isn't one of the ones we picked up. Really? English? I know. Only 5% of the world's population is a native English speaker. But when you factor in those who've acquired it as a second language, nearly one-third of the people speak it. The world's dominant lingua franca. You gotta figure they had it somewhere among all the languages in that place. No English. Bear in mind we didn't hear everything that was played in that room. We couldn't isolate the more distant sounds due to static and the... Well, the program could have been set to change every day. In a nutshell, for reasons unknown, People in that room with a common medical condition were made to listen to recordings in languages from around the world. It's not clear how the growths on their chests fit into it. It could have been treatment for them, or maybe an experiment of some kind. I'm guessing one person knows. Yeah, Skullface. He was there. The only thing we can say for sure is that he's involved. <laughs> that was a very long-winded explanation. And basically to say the we have no idea what the fuck. eliminate a high-ranking CFA officer. CFA doesn't just hire United soldiers as mercenaries. They're also supplying United with weapons. It just smacks of Western nations manipulating them against the socialist MPLA. Naturally, the MPLA is not happy with the situation and wants us to put a stop to it. Your standard issue East-West proxy war. Except it appears our target is the man in charge of how many weapons get supplied to Unida. Apparently his M.O. is to keep the civil war going as long as possible. So CFA can keep making a profit. Bad for business if Unida wins too soon. So they sit back and suck the people dry. Parasites of war. Our intel suggests the target rarely ventures outside of Nova Braga airport. But rumor has it that a western arms dealer is headed there soon for an inspection. That could be your chance to eliminate the target from a distance. We also heard that he plans to leave the country following the inspection. This may be our only opportunity to take mm. him out. Sounds interesting. Should be good. And they're teaching the nanomachines how to speak, of course. It all makes sense! Uh, do I need any of these? This was Africa, so what is good? Didn't really upgrade anything I was using. I don't have a new arm yet, like, I wish I had a way of getting a new arm. But I guess I gotta find, like, some dude, I guess. Alright, good enough. Ah, oh, sniper rifle, huh? Could do that. Or, I could steal the guy and force him to work for me. Because <laughs> we love A-plus things. The war economy. Eliminate 
locate the high-ranking CFA official in charge of supplying weapons to UNITA. The target stays at Nova Braga Airport. Head to the airport first. Walker gear, attack helicopter. Oh shit. Well, attack helicopter is scary, but I do like that there may be walker gear that I get the jack. I don't have very many walker gears, I'd like to have quite a few. And then sell them for money. Be careful down there, boss! Yay! Mother base has been upgraded, and I'm sure I shoved a bunch of people in there. Boss, we have an emergency. Mother base is under what? attack. The enemy is over on one of our platforms, and they're holding some of our staff hostage. If we don't do something, they'll try to take off with our men. That would mean losing some of our finest manpower. Boss, take back that platform. This is a race against time. For all of us. Get on this mission right away, boss. Emergency mission, huh? This is not an online thing. I shouldn't be connected. Like, I'm not connected online yet. So this has got to be a scripted event. Yeah, it is. I figured. Episode number 22. Retake the platform. Interesting. Inter-dashing. Enemy control and eliminate their commander. The moment they lose their chain of command, we'll move in and suppress the rest. The enemy have taken some of our staff hostage and are threatening to kill them if they're attacked. You can't rely on support from us this time. Anything we do might be seen as an attack. Boss, forgive me. Can't believe I let an enemy force in right under my nose. But one thing's for sure. They're gonna pay for it. Make certain of that, boss. Interesting. And what would you form after getting attacked on your base? Security! Yay! It's about fucking time. <laughs> That's so weird, but all right. <laughs> so I take it the security team is for the online portion or something. I'm gonna pop these, man. I'm tired of their bullshit. This is actually kind of cool. I get to fight on my own platform. The big question is, how does this work online? You gotta extract him.
starting to realize not the best camouflage for this. Decent dudes, like skill wise. He's coming too. Roger that. Get all the way over there, huh? Okay, subject is in. So, is this how it works online, too? Like, you just kind of go through all the NPCs or something? That's how it works. I'm wondering though if I have to do this like perfectly stealth or what. That's all I got for that. Unless the commander is like super good to balloon out. This is a complicated place to run around in, like, <laughs> yeah, I'd get found so fast in this place. There are people everywhere and stuff. I think I understand why they put these tubes here now.
kind of gives you options to go around places. I imagine getting up top is the best. Search complete. Search complete. CP, this is Zulu 6. Search complete. No sign of hostiles. Over. This is CP. Understood. Don't let your guard down. They could still be in the area. Out. Not good enough. I'm not good with these grenades today. CP, this is Zulu 2. I can see smoke. Possible enemy sabotage. Over. Come in, Zulu 2. What? Who saw? Oh, that guy saw. Force Oh, get over there somehow. Titanium bison? <laughs> oh, service crosses. Soldiers X5, prisoner X3. Yeah, I didn't find all the prisoners, I don't know. Boss. No rank. 
Eh, some decent money, I guess. So that's what it's like online, except I guess the commander would be a real person rather than an NPC. Kind of interesting, I guess. Boss, we figured out who that enemy commander was. He was on the staff at Mother Base nine years back. Despite surviving the attack, he broke off from us and spent his years terrified that a cleanup squad would come after him. The isolation screwed with his sense of loyalty. A rumor, source unknown, had him convinced that the attack nine years ago was orchestrated by you yourself. The big boss sold out his comrades to hide from the world. He thought that's why you weren't at the base that day. He was so desperate to take us down, he built up his own PF, copying us in every way. His idea of the perfect revenge. But in the end, he was just a victim of disinformation. I'll leave you to decide how to deal with him. Interesting. Hexagon. Security key mis team established. Sweet. Fobs can now be constructed. But they require money, so... Eh, we stole some people, I guess. Very strange. Very strange, indeed. Kinda neat, but just strange. Boss, listen a moment. I want to bolster our security to guard against enemy attacks. What I have in mind is to create a security team that can defend each of the platforms. Can I go ahead with that? So from now on, give some thought to building up the security team as well. One other thing, security team, to huh? divert some of the risk posed by our enemies, I'd like to construct a forward operating base. The more bases we have, the more staff we can house and the more materials we can secure. Yeah, but that requires, like, actual real-life money, I think. Yeah, I could struck fobs. Yeah, I can't connect online. It fucking won't let me. So is it a base facility I have to construct? Oh, I guess I have to... So then staff management now? Yep, security team. It actually already has a bunch of people on it. Is there a security stat or is it just shared? I, oh, it's probably just shared between the combat unit and the security team. How many people can I have in the security team? Yeah, those guys are... Doom Eagle, do you have no room for this guy? Strange. I don't quite understand. Uh, I guess there's no like cap on that, right? Oh no, a hundred out of a hundred. Okay, I just happened to have one guy left over. <laughs> That's kind of funny. This is a good thing I grabbed all those dudes. Interesting. I guess I got two dudes there. I got a few in the brig there. Cool. Um, yeah, so I guess that's my security team. So I take it security team, uh, those are the people that can get robbed, right? 
from the com from the stuff. Dude, everybody in here in the combat unit is A or A plus. That's fucking solid. I guess security team is just like these are the people that can get taken online. Like if you don't want anybody to get stolen, you you just keep them out of this this little field here. But you could potentially lose people. How do I know if I have like shotguns and stuff? I guess I I guess I have to. Well the game would know. The game would know to give me someone like that. Automatic. Pretty weird. Kinda neat. Maybe someday I'll actually be online and get stuff like that happening. Now that I have a security team, I should have a little bit more stuff to work with. A little bit more. Yes, the stun knife. That's exactly what I wanted for you. Then wound enemy, huh? And then you... develop the guns for, right? So eventually we'll lead to that sexy fucker there. So I'm looking forward to that. That way I have two little submachine guns to fire. <laughs> That'd be goody, pretty good. You're already wearing the highest, yeah, you're good. Uh, oh. Huh. That was kind of weird. I wasn't quite sure why that looked that way. Yeah, I don't think I have a fighting force enough to do this, right? Yeah, I gotta get my probability up much higher. Okay, um, that's good. I got a lot of side ops now, but that's okay because I need those to be there. I'm trying to do mission lists. War economy. Okay, so I should probably take care of that. So that's originally what I was going to do until I got hit with that. <laughs> Pretty funny. Oh, really? A better upgrades? I bet that was a stun grenade I equipped. D Walker. I like the D Walker. I am in Africa now, so we can just do that. So, have you any experience with the online? Someone, I think, I think maybe you said, or no, DNA, I think, said earlier that he was actually attacked and was able to defend his base. Like, is that just how it works? You get a warning, you're being attacked, and then you just go show up and try and shoot the guy down or something? That's kind of neat. Strange, but neat.
I've sent the information to your map screen. That's the target's predicted location. Check all around the target and plan carefully before moving in. I'm just looking for a guy, right? That ain't so bad. I'd be pissed off because I blew everything up last time I was here. Boss, we just received word that the arms dealer due to inspect Nova Braga Airport is on his way. Once his chopper has arrived, they'll be touring the facilities along with the target. Let him bring the target out into your line of fire. Wants me to set up as a sniper spot, but I don't know. That's an enemy gunship. Don't try to take down a gunship. The chopper will be arriving any minute. Watch out. Pretty rough. There's a lot of cool shit around here that I want to work with. Looks like the arms dealer's chopper is gonna patrol for the security forces. Be sure you don't get spotted from above. Thank you. 
a walker gear. They're fast. They can operate off-road, too. You do best to avoid them. I want to steal them. That's what I want to do. Target's probably already outside the original predicted FOM. You'll have to look for him yourself. Try interrogating some of the soldiers. They may know something. Let's try that again. Let's try that again. <laughs> Not too happy with that. That guy had a helmet on, I guess. Mm, making this hard for myself trying to get these things, but I'm also just not sure. I'm just not sure what I want to do. Sent the information to your map screen. That's the target's predicted location. Check all around the target and plan carefully before moving in. I don't know. I feel like I could have done a lot better. I feel like I could do something, but maybe not. I am putting a lot on my head just trying to go for something like that. Those guys were here. Just received word that the arms dealer due to inspect Nova Braga Airport is on his way. 
Once his chopper has arrived, they'll be touring the facilities along with the target. Let him bring the target out into your line of fire. You gotta extract him. The arms dealer's chopper is gonna patrol for the security forces. Be sure you don't get spotted from above. I could shoot down that helicopter from afar and see what happens, but I think the game would get pissed off at me for killing him like that. Spotted. 
That's why I like the sub gun. I can do that option there. Even if I don't need the need or want the guy. Subject on board. Leave the rest to us. That's such a weird way to attract a dude. I want to steal these guys, these two, is going to take some work.
lit up. Stay lit up. Time to make my play. run right now. I got it. I think I got what I was after. The question now is trying to get the hell out of here. <laughs> Jesus. 
I'm sorry, I was so zoned out for that whole thing, just trying to be so careful. That was really rough, but we got it. I think I got everything I was after, right? I got the... I got the two main objective dudes, who were A-plus in their fields. I got a couple of A-plus dudes along the way. Shit, man. I think I did it. I got, I got all three walkers. That's pretty damn good. That's pretty damn good. Oh boy. Gaining altitude. <laughs> That's pretty rough. Uh but I managed to get it. Like I, I really wanted those walkers really badly. Uh, but it, 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 honestly, I didn't really go for them. They just kind of happened. So I'm, I'm pretty, I'm pretty pleased that that just sort of worked out in my favor. Boss, that was exceptional. Hell yeah, it was exceptional. Took a retry, but I got it. <sighs> yeah, it's this is one tranquilized dog. Huh? Look at that guy. Honestly, I'm thinking I'll be doing the same in a second. Like, I was gonna bust out a few more missions, but it's, it's, that last mission really took it out of me. I think I'll be crashing Boss, out. about that target you extracted. He says he wants to work for us. Having talked to him, he doesn't seem that bad a guy. Apparently, the arms dealer's people demanded they prolong the conflict, and he couldn't go against the management. That doesn't excuse everything he did, but his skills will make him a useful asset. Let's put him to good use. I've tossed that arms dealer in the break. The way he tells it, he worked in logistics with the South African Army, but he was headhunted by Sainer. Whoever gave him the orders would only have been a pawn of Skullface anyway, but apparently he hasn't been in contact for some time. He doesn't know much about Sainer, not even what its president looks like. Just another cog in the machine. Yeah, go figure. But hey, we got him. He's, not, he's our cog in our machine now. <laughs> Damn, dude, I didn't even notice that there was S, S plus, and S plus plus guys. Holy shit. Dude, all these A pluses are gonna be useless. Missile Guidance Specialist. That's pretty rockin'. Yeah, this dog should be pretty tuckered out. We've been Oh about. shit, let's go look at that. If you want to see how development's going, come take a look for yourself. Hell yeah. Yeah, we took this guy for a walk, so he should be super tired today. He's gonna sleep really well. So that's the basic, huh? So this is supposed to be the thing that you actually fight in one of the Metal Gear Solid games, right? The earlier games? Or was it the Metal Gear series that you fought one of these machines? Oh shit, he's got his prototype here and everything. Is 
that it? Again? <laughs> like, at least we got to look at something. It gets bigger, if you know what I mean. <sighs> this dog is like, hey, Boss, don't stop. I know you're just coming off this mission, but there are reports of child soldiers taking over Masa Village after the CFA got wiped out there. They've been raiding the surrounding villages, so the people have requested we eliminate them. Check your mission list for the details. Okay. Let's see, I need, uh... <laughs> There'll be peace walk or all over. Someone steals it, you have to fight against it? Yeah, fuck. Go figure. Makes sense. Welcome back, Ross. Let's see. Um, should probably use the shower. Should probably take the shower. Where is it? Train. How come that is gold? Do you have any idea why that's gold? I wonder. If, I wonder if that means it's like a new train thing or something. It must be a new training mission, new side mission. No. Weird. I wonder why it's gold colored. Beyond me. Got a little stronger, but only a little bit. Okay, let's, um, God damn it! what was I doing? I was gonna take a shower, but it'd take too long. Actually, here, we just do it like that. There's a shower over there. This is Pequot. Arriving shortly at LZ. In fact, dude, uh, hey, thanks for hanging out today, dude. On station at LZ. And uh, anybody else who's still hanging out, can't quite see. Oop, I forgot the shower. Where's the shower? There it is. I think I'm gonna call it a night. I'm gonna go jump on my copter and uh, maybe get to bed. Or just hang out and then get to bed. I don't know what it is, but I'm sufficiently tired. <laughs> we made quite a little bit of progress today, so I'm pretty happy. You have me thinking about that customized thing, though. Now I'm like, now I'm just like, what the hell could it be, you know? It's probably something really shitty. The character, the customized character reason. God damn. I was really hoping it'd be like Metal Gear Online. <laughs> oh, well. Whatever. 
Sleep pretty good, I think. Just like the old pooch. Thirty-seven percent overall completion. Just off this mission, but there are reports of child soldiers taking over Masa Village after the CFA got wiped out there. They've been raiding the surrounding villages, so the people have requested we Wait, eliminate them. Mamba, why is it gotta Check be mission right? list for the details? Man, they're all children? There ain't no way I could shoot a child, right? There ain't no way they're gonna have me do that. Oh shit. Wandering Mother Base soldiers. Yeah, I guess that what I really should do is just plow through a bunch of story missions so that I have a ton of side ops I can kinda do. Maybe that's end game though. Maybe side ops are more about doing stuff for the end game. Not really sure. And again, I'm not even sure how far along the story has. Oh well. Let's go ahead and uh, do this. There's nothing I want to develop, right? I don't think so. Pretty sure I tapped everything I'm interested in out. project in here I can do somewhere but I think it's already being done though yeah it's pretty sure it was that one there what the helicopter I haven't given that much attention lately Oh man, I need a lot more. Could do the rockets. Four, is that 40,000 or 400,000? Jesus. 400,000, damn. There you go. We got the flares. Shit, and the armor. Both of those are definitely worth it. Sweet. Alright. Uh, oh shit, but in order for it to remember that I just did those, I gotta go return to Mother Base. God damn it. I hate how it does that. Ugh. In order for it to remember the things I do, I have to like go to mother base and then leave it or something like that yellow side missions are more important yeah the thing is is that the icon is yellow but not the actual mission is yellow so I'm not quite understanding why that is and you know they might have changed it yellow because there's that overlapping field hanger thing on it now that might be causing it too a huge fan of this type of base. Just a quick injunction of that. Roger. Yes. Okay, maybe I was wrong. You see how it's yellow on there? But if I go to side ops, it's not yellow at all. I don't know. Yeah, 
kind of weird. It might mean that there's more training to do, or maybe, but I'm not really into it, to be honest. Like, especially when they put the stuff like you can't find them anywhere. That shit's so irritating. It is odd, yeah? Pretty odd indeed. It's probably a reason, I just don't know what it is. Alright, man. That should uh, get everything saved up. Let's go ahead and turn the title screen really quick. That way it's a proper save. Thanks again for hanging out, dude. It's always good to see you. You're always a uh, wealth of information. It's greatly appreciated. And I'm pretty certain I'll uh, probably see you tomorrow. <laughs> I mean, I'm in this game. I'm in this neck deep, man. I just keep every single day. I'm just putting so many hours behind this game. It's ridiculous. I'm going to have to go for a walk one of these days. Otherwise, I might get, uh, I don't know, arthritis of the butthole or something. That, that wouldn't be very good. <laughs> I'll catch you later, man. Have a good night. Day, uh, actually, I guess it's more day for you, isn't it? Yeah. Have a good one, either way. <laughs>